Alone on Tain. It's Tuesday, June 8th, 2010. Well, today I'm going to read a article about the housing bubble and the collapse and why it happened, and I hope you enjoy it. Stupid that guy is for digging in such a precarious mine. We're looking at a lender hacking away at homeowner equity. I think everyone can see that he's putting both the homeowner and himself, the lender, at some serious risk. Yet there he is, still hacking away for profits. But why And why did so many homes go into foreclosure at the same time? Did no one see this coming? The answer to the last question there were a handful of people who did see the bubble coming long before it popped. Many economists today use an analogy that Wall Street was drunk during the housing bubble. These economists maintain that investment banks took excessive risk and made aggressive for pay back the principal. These people definitely sound a lot like that crazy guy in the mine, right? It was a noble idea, but it was also impossible to expect that a lender would lend hundreds of thousands of dollars for credit or someone without sufficient income. That is, unless there was a government guarantee to the lender that he would get his money back. Remember Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? Those were government sponsors. You can only imagine how this played out. People into signing loans that were way over their head. Back from the government, the taxpayers. Of billions of dollars. That everyone wants and come Well, hedge funds created stock derivatives. As investors were betting on people getting evicted. Feet, figuring there would be minimal risk as long as it's a good deal for some dishonest homeowners who had no information. Allowed people to own homes when their equities were actually negative. In fact, it was highway robbery. But no one really cared, as they say, until the shit hit the fan. This caused a wave of homeowners to be evicted because they could no longer afford the housing prices started dropping. And this was And if they could live off of this increase, prices were not heading up, they were heading down.
thousands of dollars in equity just dis had not planned on such catastrophic losses all at once after the risk all at the same time and no insurance company could survive it went bankrupt, as did those investors with interest in financial institutions, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. In the end, the government bailed out a huge number of these financial institutions, including Goldman Sachs, Fannie Mae, the list just goes on and on, all at the expense of the taxpayer. But I digress. one of them. He was so dead right about the outcome of the housing bubble that he was recognized by Time magazine, other TV appearances. He says yes. Without a doubt, Wall Street was drunk. What's the matter with renting? It's like a picture of senior prom, and you got the chaperone pouring liquor into the punch bowl. And then, the, you know, you got the, the, the prom goers, you know, acting, you know, rude and, you know, they make because they're all drunk. Well, who are you going to blame? I mean, are you going to blame teenagers for, you know, acting crazy when they get drunk, or are you going to blame the guy that spiked the punch bowl? So rather than focusing their, their, their anger on Wall Street. The spiker, you think, is the Federal the Reserve, Fed. and Wall Street are the, are the yeah, kids yes. drinking the 